Oh, so, young lady. It's too early in the morning, Carl. Much too early. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, there's that Gussie. Mm, she would show up just at a time like this. Oh. 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 Well, I'm Gussie. What's the matter now? A palpitation of the auricular, ventricular, and mitral valves. With a cordic tendency. You mean your heart's beating? Of course it's beating. Dr. Von Neelen, he tried to assure me, but I know, I know it's serious. I'm liable to go just like that. Did he prescribe for you, dear? Yes. Monoacid, ester, salicylic acid. <laughs> you mean salicylic acid, don't well, you? Well, salicylic acid, salicylic acid. Help me. My heart is much quieter. Hello, Carl. Hello. Oh, Carl. You'll be good to her when I'm gone, won't you? Yes, of course I will, Frau Schnappmann. Well, I'm not gone yet. You can't marry her unless I say so. Don't forget that. Oh, my heart. There, Auntie, you'll be all right. Oh, just rest a while. What you need is... What? Rest, dear, and quiet. Gussie has a heart like a steam engine. Don't you know it's wrong to steal? You cut yourself. See? Blood. Mm. Yes. Stop it, stop it. No hurt me. No hurt. Oh, you poor thing. Now, you wait right here, and I'll run in the house and get something for that finger. A subcutaneous wound like that might easily result in a tetanus infection. Tetan, tetan... Tetanus lockjaw. Not that you need be afraid. From the way you talk, I think you've got it already. Look, here's a nice juicy apple for you. <sighs> ah, this is it. Traits sur les apprécions des esprits et sur les vampires by Augustin Dom Calamé in 1746. Oh. Let us suppose that these corpses do not actually stir from their tombs, that only the ghosts or spirits appear to the living. Wherefore do these phantoms present themselves, and what is it that energizes them? Is it actually the soul of the dead man, which has not yet departed to its final destination? Fiddlesticks. Now, how could a corpse buried under four or five feet of earth get out to do any such foolishness? I don't believe it. It's a fair question, Doctor. How could it? Well, according to accepted theory, the vampire dematerializes its body and reintegrates it outside the grave. It's a good explanation, if you can believe it. Mm. And while I'm standing here listening to all this rubbish, there's a poor man in the garden in danger of a tetanus infection. Now, what should I do for him, doctor? Shall I apply a chloroform or 2% solution of bichloride? Well, either will do. Uh, get some gauze and some uh, mercurochrome. Thank you, know. you, doctor. I'll wait here. Difficult to believe, isn't it? It's impossible to believe. And yet, it would explain these deaths, wouldn't it? Ah, Rechschneider. 
Pardon our intrusion, Dr. von Neiman. But after what you saw last night, you'll be interested in this as well. Well, what's happened? Gringen was found dead an hour ago. With the two punctures in his neck and not a drop of blood in his body. And what's more, Herman Glyde has disappeared. What? Now you're convinced that we were right and you were wrong? Thought it'd be proof enough for anybody. Kringen said Herman would get him, and he did. Well, Brett Schneider, I appoint you my deputy. Organize a searching party and comb this countryside from one end to the other. Find Herman Glyve and bring him in, but don't harm him. Do you understand? What good will that do? He is a vampire. There's only one thing for us to do when we find him. Kill him and drive a stake through his Herman heart. Glyde will be tried by a court of law. The charge against him is proven true. The law will decide what to do with him, not you. Now get your men together and do as I tell you. That's the way to talk. I'm going into town for a little while, Doctor. Would you care to come along? Oh, I hardly believe so. The little will be done until they find the boy. If you need me then, I'll... All right, thanks. I'll let you know. I feel I was going to faint. Oh, there, Auntie. There's nothing here to be afraid of. Here comes Amo with your mercurochrome and bandages. Run along now and take care of that patient of yours. Oh, heavens, I forgot all about him. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, my heart. Oh. Poor Auntie. She's had every ailment in the book. With a lot aunt, I'm afraid. Particularly a palpitation of the auriculoventricular tricuspid and mitral valve, Doctor. Well, I had to tell her something to satisfy her. <laughs> <laughs> Herman? No. 